Hello and welcome to N Squared, where we've been working on some fantastic software utilizing a range of technologies from Windows Phone 7, Microsoft Surface, Windows 7 on Slate devices and Microsoft Connect for Windows. And I'd like to show you a demonstration of some of this technology right now. So to start with, I just received a message on my phone and I'm going to put my phone down on the table and here I can see the messages that I've received. I can see a message from John, a message from Jane and a message from Asher. So let's have a look at the message from John. The message from John is about some door handles that are no longer available for a building that we've been working on together. So let's have a look at that message. And here we've got files that are relating to the work that I'm doing with John. So let me get through to the specific property that we're working on together. So let me select that property and it'll take us to the location and I can zoom in on that location and find the floor plan for this building. Now what this is going to do is render all the information that we've been gathering and all the work that we've been doing into a model that represents the blueprint of the floor plan and the extra information of the work we're putting into it. So here you can see I have the piping, I have electrical cabling, I have level one of the floor plan, level two of the building. So let's go back to level one. I'm going to take my tablet PC device and put it down on the table and you'll see that it renders a different view of that same information. So now in the tablet PC we have a view showing the furnishings whereas on the table we still have the base blueprint. If I pick up the tablet PC you can see that I have a 3D view of that same information and that 3D view is shown you can see the angle I'm looking at from this little icon on the table. So as I move the icon around, I get a different view on the tablet. So let's take this now and put it up on a big screen. Okay, so now I'm going to put the information up on the big screen using Microsoft Connect. And the computer is called Bill. So, Bill, show me the big screen. And here you can see the rendering of the building and you can see the messages that have come in as well. So let's enter the building. I'm going to just use a gesture to enter the building. And it'll take me into the building. And as it takes me into the building, I'm getting that information being displayed on my tablet as well. So I can move around using my tablet. I can move around this space. I can also bring up floor plans. So, Bill, show me the floor plan. And here you can see I have a floor plan representing where I am and as I move around I can see the different locations that I'm looking at. Bill, hide the floor plan. Now I can use voice command to take me to a specific location. So, Bill, go to the master bedroom. And it's taking me up the stairs and around the corner into the master bedroom. But I want to focus on one specific area, which is the door handles that need to be changed. We need to find some new door handles. So, Bill, show me the door handles. So now I can see the door handles that need to be changed. I'm going to load a different application on the tablet here. And this is an application created by uh, the company that supplies us with the door handles. And I can browse through a number of door handles and once I find a door handle that looks similar, this one looks similar, I can take that door handle and I can select it and bring it back up onto the big screen. So here you can see it rendering on the large screen and it will replace the door handle with the new selection. That's pretty good but I wonder if there's some better choices online. So let's have a look at this website. This one looks quite good. Let's select this door handle and this website is enabled with Silverlight and will enable us to interact again with our system. So I can drag this door handle up onto the big screen and here you can see it rendering the new door handle choice from the web page and it will replace the door handles. Great. So let's go back to the main view. So Bill, 
show me the whole room so it's taking me back into the main bedroom and I can see there's a, a shelf here that's looking a little empty maybe we should put a light fitting or something on that shelf so I'm kind of thinking what it might be I'm looking for inspiration and we have some lights here actually in the office that might look quite nice there so let me go to the camera application and I'm going to take a picture of that lamp so let me take a picture of that lamp and then I can cut out the area that is the lamp and drag that up onto the big screen. So here again you can see the lamp being rendered. Let's go back to the application. Bill, place the lamp on the shelf. So now it's putting the lamp on the shelf and I can use gestures to move that lamp along the shelf so until I'm happy to where it's positioned. That sounds, seems pretty good there. So now we can go back to the table and update our order form for the supplier. Right here I have uh, the bill of work from one of our suppliers and this is the supplier that's been supplying our door handles and some other interior furnishings. Let me put that down on the table and scan it in. Now I've scanned it in, I can add the adjustments that we've made to this bill of work. So let's take the information that we just, the choices we made, so the new door handles and the lamp and add those to this new bill of work which will get created as a document that I can email. Now the person I really want to email that to is the person that started this whole conversation which is John. So let me take the email, drag it onto John in the phone and click send and it will send it to him. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and I hope you can use some of this technology yourself in some of your applications. Thank you.